anyone hear me? What is your status? Over. This is Liev. About time. What the hell happened? I've retrieved the 731 samples. Now I'm heading over to the server room to gather the search data. Over. Understood. We're having trouble with the comm system. To make matters worse, this storm isn't getting any less wild, and the loads are being pushed to the limit. I don't think it'll hold for much longer. Your new rendezvous point is the main entrance, so head there. Hurry up and grab the data so we can get the hell out of here. Watch your back. Open comms for 2236. Over. Hey you! Drop your gun and let me see your hands! Right now! Sorry. I thought you were one of those dead, melted thingies that killed the others. Yeah, well, I ain't. And you almost got shot in the head, whoever you are. You know, I'm, I'm no threat to you. My name's John. It's John Fay. I work for Aegis in the Information Science Department. Well, mostly in the server room. I've been hiding down there for hours, since all hell broke loose. All communications are down, and I didn't think anyone would risk their lives to actually save us. What the hell happened to this place? I'm not sure exactly, but I don't think it was accidental. How do you mean? Well, I can access anything via the server. The security system, surveyors, cameras, and naturally, the personnel files of all the Aegis employees. I've been trying to reconstruct exactly what went wrong. And actually, you'd be amazed at what somebody can achieve down here in just a few hours. Anyway, I think it's safe to say that one of our own stole some research and covered the whole up as an accident. Obscuring all evidence of their damnable theft. Huh. You don't say. I'm gonna need that fancy ID card of yours to access the server. Well, why? Why do you want to access the server? I thought you were actually here to rescue us. Technically, those were your words, not mine. Sorry, bud. Orders are orders. But what, what, what about the others? All the survivors in the building? You're not gonna let us die here. Nah, no, you're right. I guess I can. I mean, especially you. Oh, what the heck. I'll lend a hand. Sequence activated.
of the decontamination in progress. We're gonna need a few minutes to override it remotely. Just hang in there. Back to base. My pawn moved admirably through the AG's lab. And with just a few bad moves, the game proceeded ahead. Unfortunately, I underestimated the fierce loyalties of those no good Exocor players. It was the most incredible fight I ever saw. He just grabbed the guy, bit his ear off, and spit it on the mat. How often does that happen? During a boxing match? Never. HQ here. We read your signal on beacon. You're less than 30 minutes from base. Acknowledge. This is Sandman Actual. Roger your last HQ. Commencing final approach procedures to base. Any sign of the others? Over. Negative, Sandman Actual. Epsilon has gone out with their MIA. The special unit is being deployed to secure the site and evacuate survivors as soon as possible. Over and out. Maybe we should have waited after all. Not a chance. There's no way the carriers would have withstood that storm for a moment longer. Besides, I didn't come all this way to fail. <laughs> fail? Uh, right, right, right. You know, for a second there, I forgot how you do things, Major. You sit there. All ladylike to keep that immaculate uniform for spick and span while real soldiers go into battle. Ah, too bad it has to be at the expense of real men with bona fide families. <laughs> yeah. Fucking crimson skulls, man. You're all the fucking same. <laughs> I can see why you chose this boy to be your sidekick. You both got a lot in common. For starters, just think about it. You're both cowardly little bitches that leave comrades to die. <laughs> what did you just say to me? You better watch your fucking mouth. Knock it off, you two. Epsilon or no Epsilon, our orders stand. He's right. You squawk way too much. Listen carefully, David. I won't repeat this again. I know what it's like to lose somebody and not be able to do a goddamn thing about it. But you can't go on blaming yourself. You made a judgment call on that plane. Otherwise, you'd both be dead. And I think you would have done the same in your position. Are we clear? If you say so, Major, it's just... Every time I close my eyes, I can still see him. He's burning up and screaming for me to somehow help him, and I can't. I know, but sometimes you just gotta move forward. Let go and focus on the present moment. You cut through that storm with your fangs out. You got golden hands, kid. I'm impressed. And now that your scars are more or less healed, I'm sure you'll go back to flying solo any day now. Hey, Major. 
You looking to lose the payload now that we're so close to base? God damn it. Raven, take the controls. I'm gonna go check and make sure supports are secure. That storm really pushed them to the limit. Yes, sir. Fuck's sakes, kid. Your file says you're the real deal. Took an SR-91 from the Aurora program to hypersonic Mach 6. That's a hell of a lot more than most pilots can say. By all rights, you should be able to fly this toy with your eyes closed. You know, I pushed for you to join the Skulls, even after what happened at Dryden. The only place I want to see you fallen is on the map after our bouts. Okay. Now focus and keep the spurt up in the sky. You got it, Major. I won't let you down.